Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where every Sunday we learn something together. Today I decided that I want to teach you guys how to wrap a present. Because the holiday season is here! Yes! So it's time to learn how to make the gifts we give people look good. So are you guys ready? Let's begin! Okay! Now everyone wraps things differently. Everyone has their own little tactics and tricks whenever I looked it up on the internet and it's all just how you like doing it, what suits you best. So this is how I wrap presents and it seems to work pretty well. Step one, get all your supplies together before you even start. Wrapping paper, scissors, tape, the thing you need to wrap. If the thing you need to wrap needs to go in a box because it's like a weird shape, get a box. And then, if you need to because the thing moves around inside the box, or you just want it to look pretty, get tissue paper! But I don't have any tissue paper and I didn't want to go buy some for this video, so I'm just using paper towels. Hope that you don't mind. Now, if your thing has a price tag and you don't want them to see the price tag, you take the price tag off. Right now we're just gonna wrap a book, and then we'll wrap something in a box. You're going to figure out how much wrapping paper you actually need. So I need to make sure that when I flip this over, there would be an extra wrapping paper and there is and then I'm gonna give a little extra on the sides a little hint you want to work on the back of the thing so this is the front of the book so we're gonna put the front facing downward and we're gonna work on the back side so the front is just flat always you fold it over I personally like to fold the edges it just gives it a little bit of a cleaner look so you fold this over. Now, if you're scared of ruining the thing, don't tape it, but if you're not scared of ruining the thing, go ahead and add a little tape. That has so much hair in it. Am I the only one that gets tape dispensers filled with hair? I'll add a little tape right there, just so that the paper will never move. It'll stay secure, okay? Fold this. It just gives it a cleaner look. Fold that, flatten it, flatten it, flatten it. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight. You don't want to tear it. Now, now seriously, there's just hair everywhere. Don't put hair in someone's present, unless it's like a wig. If you're giving them a wig, then hair's fine. Anyway, tape that down. Try to keep it a little straight. Now there's two ways to wrap the sides of a present. This way that I'm about to show you and something with a box. This way, we're gonna make it a little triangle. So where the book ends, you push down and you fold the sides over until it meets with that fold. Does that make sense? We're making a little triangle. Okay, boop. Sometimes you kind of have to force it. That's okay. You fold it over here because it looks nicer. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Okay, now you're gonna have to scoop it in. Fold that over like that. Ooh, see how I did that? I don't know how to describe this with words, so I hope you guys are watching this. Now you take, ah! Don't let the tape get stuck. Ah, get off of me! There will be these moments when it goes wrong. Just accept it and move on. Tape. You do the same thing to the other side. Find the edge, make it a triangle shape. Push it in, fold it so it's crisp. Fold it over like so. Boom, it's wrapped. Now, if you want to be like anyone in my family and make it impossible to break into it, you can fold down the flaps on the edge. Tape them, tape all the little things. Now, it'll take someone twice as long to break into it. Then just, you can put a ribbon around it, put a bow in the middle, right you to and from on the edges, and you got yourself a present. That, my ladies and my gentlemen, is how you wrap a flat square thing. Now. What if you have, oh my God, that, that hurt my joints. Okay, splits hurt. What if you have something like this? How, how, how do I wrap it? How do I hold it? You find a box. This box is too big. This is the only box I had. Put the thing in there. You don't want it to rattle around. Add some tissue paper, not toilet paper or paper towels. This is just because I don't have anything else. Fluff it in there, doesn't rattle. Close the box up. Lay out the paper. All right, so we wanna make sure that when we flip this on all its sides, it has enough wrapping paper left over. So we're gonna wrap it like this, but then you also need to make sure there's enough wrapping paper on the sides. Too much? Move it until it's a little bit above half on both sides, and then you cut it. I will say there is wrapping paper that is good quality and wrapping paper that is bad quality. I suggest spending that extra dollar on the good quality. It makes a world of difference. Let's wrap this puppy up. Again, we're gonna work the top of the box so the present goes straight onto the bottom. Now we're gonna tape this. Make sure it's in the center here. Tape that. 
Fold this over. Oh, it's a little long. Fold it. Oh, nice and crisp. Boom, perfect length. Look at how beautiful that is. Add a little tape. Boom. Now, this is different than the book. The book we just made one triangle and folded it over. This way, we're actually going to make two triangles. You haven't flipped it at all. This is still the bottom of the box and this is still the top of the box. You're going to fold in these edges like so. Make a triangle here. You're gonna make a triangle on the top and the bottom, okay? Boom. Fold. Fold your two triangles together so they kiss and then push up your box like this so it's standing straight up. So you don't wanna tape it yet. Now, we're gonna make two triangles on this side of the box. Push in one side, crisp it. Push in the other side, crisp it. I'm saying crisp it. So now we have two triangles on both sides. Now the bottom of the box, you're gonna fold in that triangle first. And then you're gonna fold in the second triangle. Little tip, fold the tip. Tip is to fold the tip, okay? Then tape it, tape the two triangle kisses together. All right, then flip the box over because we haven't taped this one, remember? So now we can fold it and tape it. Mainly you don't tape it the first time around to make sure that you didn't mess up and you have enough length on the other side. Boom, tape, and you have a wrapped box. Ladies and gentlemen, don't throw it though. It literally just takes a little bit of practice. You want clean lines and you want triangles and you want tape. I hope this has helped you. I just know so many people that don't know how to wrap a present. You know what? If you just can't get the hang of it, buy a bag. Put it in a bag with a little tissue paper. That's all you need. But if you want to wrap it with wrapping paper, it's really simple. Tweet me or Instagram me or Facebook me or comment below other things you'd like me to teach you every Sunday because every Sunday I love learning with you guys. So subscribe to see videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday on this channel. Uh, I love you guys so much. Pre-order my book if you haven't. Haven't given myself a promo for that in a while, so I am. I'll put all the links below. And above all else, remember guys, stay awesome, possums.